and they have taken a legal notice to parliament. But if you look at that legal notice, number one, they want to regulate your pension <coughs> as a civil servant. You can imagine SRC has exhausted everything about remuneration and they even want to determine what you'll get when you're going home. So that this year they can say you'll only get 80% and the other year you can get 100% and this is workers' money. This is money that workers have been deducted all through their working life and we cannot allow them to go that direction. It is notably that uh, actually SRC have been an agent of disharmony in the health sector. Since this award came from, we have, been we have actually gone around two years without people going on strike because of salaries. But unfortunately, it is now imminent that the, re the next reason why people will go on strike will be because of, this, of, the, of the SRC actually rejecting or revoking the, the, the allowances awarded to healthcare workers. I have specifically pointed out of the nefarious activity or rather act by the SRC to derail, actually to frustrate negotiation and agreement by the health unions, especially the clinical officers, the nurses, and also the KMPDU in other employers, with the other employers, where they negotiate, seek concurrence, and the SRC deny without any data, without any evidence. And that is what we are refusing. We have 80 doctors who the money has been budgeted every year. The money is lying idle in the Ministry of Health. But SRC is very quick to write letters declining payment of that arrears to those doctors over, over now five years. So this action is not only acrimonious and does not, is not only affecting service delivery, but in a stronger way uh, jeopardizes the need to, over, to have a better and a functional public health care. So we are calling upon SRC to immediately approve those allowances and to allow for their payment. So the only time that you're going to see uh, unions, uh, particularly KMPDU and KUKU and the rest going on strike, is if SRC's uh, plans uh, uh, see the day of light. That the, the, the SRC plans are not good for healthcare workers. I mean, the action that they have taken against the doctors at the Ministry of Health, the 80 doctors, who have been budgeted for, for over five years, do they want to be given that money to eat or to do what with it? Essentially, if somebody is, uh, is as a unit or a commission, has structures that they need to enhance retaining of healthcare workers, why do they want to be the ones that are making healthcare workers to leave the country? Why do they want to be the ones that are making healthcare workers not to be in the public sector? So essentially, our problem now is not actually the employers. The employers are now using SRC to make sure that nothing that has been negotiated, and nothing that has been agreed upon, nothing that needs to be implemented is done. Because SRC acts like a demigod on things that are not within its mandate.